doing guys? My name's Visual Waste. I'm an artist from Belfast. And we're here today pimping out an underpass. So you can see behind me, you probably can't even really see the whole thing. But it's a good stretch. It's about, I would say about 50, 50 foot wide. Quite uninviting looking underpass. It doesn't really draw you in. There's nothing really that makes you want to come down and explore around here. So we're going to paint something up nature theme so it's all going to be like an enchanted furry forest the rain is absolutely horrible here today but at least we're underneath this to stay dry and get at least a little bit of the painting done i've already been here and primed all of this yesterday just so we can get a better start at it today and the most awkward thing about this is you can see the angle that the whole wall is coming down at so i'm gonna have to actually start from the top and work my way down do all the top level first with the fills and then come into the middle and then the bottom but the way we're going to do it is i'm going to use a thing called a doodle grid i'll show you how that works <laughs> as random as it looks there is method in this mayhem what i'm doing is basically making reference points on the wall i'll then take my artwork put it into an app which allows you to change your opacity and I'll overlay that on top of the photograph of the dual grid. Sounds a bit mad. It just allows you to get proportions and scales correct. Once you've got all the app business sorted out and you're happy with everything, then you can start your sketch. You just use your phone, you look at the points of reference in your doodle grid and you match them up to the lines in your sketch. And there you have it, it's on the wall. So once I got these lines down, that was enough for me that day. That last day there was just too extreme. The weather was absolutely freezing. Couldn't feel my fingers, couldn't feel my toes. So I just abandoned it. I also didn't have ladders, which I really needed to get up there. I tried climbing up and down this hill, but it just wasn't working. Kept falling back, kept messing up the lines. Um, so we're back today and we'll have a set of ladders with us and what you see here brought my ladders got my paint and a very rare thing has happened the sun has actually came out so i'm going to try and get a good bit of this filled in here today and get it sort of looking a, a bit more like a mural and less of a mess now because i brought the ladders today i think we'll maybe get up here and start on the background uh, i don't want to do it all completely blue so i'm thinking of maybe having like some trees uh in the and right in the background and then having all this foliage in the foreground just to give it a bit more depth i want to use two elements of blue to make it look as if it's quite far out <laughs> bit of progress made and um, being warm really helps uh, this tunnel has a really big backdraft of wind coming through it so the slightest bit of wind really picks up in here this has to be the most challenging wall wall or ramp i don't know what you would call it definitely is a challenge to paint it's having to climb up and down on the ladder the ladder doesn't even really want to sit properly because of the angle 
what we're getting there. We will do this. Whenever I work on a mural, I always take the last 10 minutes before I plan to finish work for that day and just go through it all again and add little fixer-uppers, little doodads, little things that just make it pop. I think that is the maximum amount of hours I really want to paint today. I just find sometimes if you push through and you paint for too long, it shows in the work. So I think we'll continue this tomorrow. All right, you guys, we're back. Day number four on this mural. I wanna get, I put the paint here because I wanna paint to here today. So I wanna start at the bird where we left off yesterday. I worked my whole way to here. Fingers crossed we can get all that done and filled in because we need to make a bit more progress than this on the mural. Spent a wee bit too much time doing a bit of detailing and stuff here. I also fell off the ladder about a thousand times but we'll not talk about that now.
Yeah, I completely ran out of paint. Well, not all the paint, but the, just the colors that I needed to finish this off. I made a lot of progress here today on the mural. I sort of got to the end there, the, the part that I wanted to get to. And I said, you know what? Let's just finish it. It's only a, it's only a few feet, you know? Let's go for it. Taking the shortcut. We are finished on this mural here in Craig Avon. Just before I show you guys, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Check it out.